Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1539. Hey, we want to see how to extract daily sales records with the formula using the most amazing new dynamic array formula, the filter function. This is how we had to do it in the old days. Now, extracting daily sales with a formula is a very common situation. But I don't want to have to do this formula anymore. Filter function comes to the rescue. Now, this is only in Office 365. Currently, February 2019, it's still only in the Insider Edition. But Microsoft says early in 2019, all of Office 365 will have this amazing new function and many others. This is what the end result looks like. I select a date, and instantly I see all the transactions for that day. Now, actually, I've already done videos on the filter, but just the other day I was analyzing from a large data set daily transactions. And for a moment I thought, well, maybe I'll use filter or Power Query or advanced filter or something like that. Certainly not this crazy formula here. And then it hit me. The simple solution, that's how easy it is. It takes me a minute or two, actually, to create this full solution that we'll see. And just like that, I have something so dynamic and amazing. Now, what we want to do is, if you notice from the drop down, there are some missing dates. But if I add anything down to the bottom of this, I want this whole solution to update, including the correct 1919 date if I add transactions for that day. All right, so the first thing we need to do is over here in Extract Dates, we're going to use some other new dynamic array formulas. Equals the sort, because I want the dates to be sorted, and then the unique. And in Array, this is an Excel table, so I simply click with my black downward pointing cursor on Date, Table Name, Column, or Field Name, and that's it. Close parentheses, close parentheses. In the new Excel, since this array formula delivers multiple answers when I hit Enter, it automatically spills them sorted. Later, right there, when I add a date to the bottom, that will instantly be updated. Now I want to do data validation, data. Over to Data Tools, Data Validation, or I can use the keyboard Alt-D-L. I don't want to allow any value, so Tab. L to get to list, tab to get to source. And the source is going to be, well, the very first cell in this spilled array. When I click on J9, that's not going to quite do it. In order to instruct any feature inside of Excel that I want, not just that one cell, but the whole spilled array, I put a pound sign. Now when I click OK, I have my drop down. Later, you'll see that this will update when I get new dates. One other thing about the spilled arrays, when I click in the top cell, that's the cell where the formula lives. Up in the formula bar, I can see it's black. When I click down below, it's grayed out, which indicates to us that the formula doesn't live there. It's just spilling there. All right, so I'm going to select a particular date. And now here is this amazing filter. The array, this is an Excel table, so I click in the upper left. And when I see my diagonal black arrow, I click to put the full table name in, comma. Include what? Well, we get to make an array operation here. I'm clicking on the top just to get date. And I have to ask the question, hey, how many of you are equal to the condition I select? And then comma. If empty, which I don't think we're going to have because we're validating what goes in here. So that will suffice if there might be some other date there that's not on the data set. Then you could put none in proper quotes. But again, we're not going to run into that because we are validating the dates that go into our formula. When I hit Enter, there it is. I click the drop down, 8, 14. I'm going to select in the Sales column down arrow. This is the bottom of the data set, so I hit Tab. 1 slash 9 slash 2019 tab. Quad 1000. Control Enter. Control Home. This is so amazing. I can already see it there. 
And there from our dropdown is 1, 9. So much easier than the way we used to do it. And yes, there's filter. Yes, there's Power Query, advanced filter, even some other ways we can do this. But the formula has one advantage. It instantly updates. No other feature instantly updates when we change formula inputs. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank you.